I was very, very lucky to see the ins and outs of hundreds of startups um, in different in industries, trying to do different things with different budgets. And it's very natural to me now to launch in such a way, just, you know, it's, it's, it's just based on a gut insti instinct. It's not even something that I can, if I would help another startup right now, I'm not sure that my tips would be any good. But if I was in their place and it was, you know, on my back to do this right, then I probably would. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not just one formula. It's not like if you publish on TechCrunch or go on Product Hunt, the magic will happen. But I think you have to combine a lot of different things. And I'll just talk about what we've, you know, the, the approach that we took is, first of all, the, the, the wording, the branding that we use in a very, very early stage was very clear. The problem that we solved was very clear. The approach that we took to it was very clear. Like the MVP that we had was really not sophisticated. It was like duplicate your front end and edit something and you can only do it like on one page. But we were super clear on, here's how we're you know, approaching this problem that no one has solved before, which is something that got VPs and team leaders very excited. The second thing in the formula was being the first to market. So our product was super early, but I know from my previous background that if you announce something first, that's gonna stay. And so we went on and you know, people were saying, aren't you a little bit too early to announce what you're doing? And I just said, nah. And, and after we launched with a very clear uh, landing page, we started collecting emails and we saw the list going, growing organically like every day. But the launch that we had was a real turning point. So I was hoping that, you know, in terms of like PR, I was hoping to see like three or four articles go up and 20 went up. Most of them I have not caused, but they were like, you know, it's like, it was like a rolling event. And I was hoping to be somewhere in the top three of Product Hunt, but we were number one for the entire week and then nominated for like the Golden Kitty Awards for the best product of the year. And alongside the email lists that we had, alongside, you know, publishing on our different networks, each, each one of us has a lot of, you know, a very big network in different countries and parts of the world. Everything just kind of clicked. And for three days, all we did was trying to get what's going on with our waiting list. It ended up being like a 700, 800 company long. And like I said, also had a lot of luck.